Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Lenas. You are now watching More Than 20 Days to Jam, a series containing more than 20 episodes which covers all the topics in Jam syllabus. Each episode comprises detailed class, questions, and homework. The questions and homework are from the Flash Lenas Jam application. This makes the app a requirement for this class. Visit Google Play Store or flashlearners.com to get the app. Do you have trust issues? Reach me on any of my social handles for activation guide or inquiries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode number 16 of the 120 days to jam mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at the laws of logarithm and the laws of sorts. In the previous episode, we were able to look at the laws of indices and examples. The first law of logarithm states that if you have log mn to base b or with base b, this is the same thing as log of m with base b plus log of n to base b. This is it. This law is referred to as multiplication law. If you say log log 2 3 times 2 This is the same thing as log 2 log 3 base 2 log 3 base 2 plus log 2 base 2 that is what the first law is trying to tell us this is the law of multiplication looking at this law it simply means if you have log 6 to base 2 i can expand this to be log 2 then 3 times 2 because 3 times 2 is 6. Then from here, I can arrive at this. That is the first law of logarithm, multiplication law. Just like indices, indices says once you have similar base and different powers, you take one of the base, then you add the powers. Logarithm is saying when you have a log to multiplication, you add. So multiplication leads to addition. Division leads to subtraction in logarithm. Also, division leads to subtraction in indices. The second law of logarithm says that if you have log, this time around, b is the base. So let the base be, and let's say let the base be 10. Then you have, let m be 4 and let m be 5. Something like this. So since you have division and you have log to a base, the law of logarithm says that this is the same thing as log 4, the one at the top, with base 10, minus log 5, the one at the bottom, with base 10. That is the second law of logarithm and the division law. If you have log to base, let's say base 10, the base can be anything. And m raised to the power of k. So what do we call m? Let's call m 5. It can be any number. These values you are seeing, b, m, k, whatever, they mean different number. So you can use any number you like or any way they come. If you say m is 5, let's k be 2. 2. Which means we have log 5 square with base 10. Log name is saying that anytime you see something like this, Break down the power to give you 2 log 10 base 5. So when you have log raised to power of something, break out the power. That is log reading. From this law, I can do something like this. If you give me log 10, 25. So log 25 to base 10. Since I know that uh, 5 raised to power of 2 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25. This is the same thing as 
log 10 pi squared. So I've changed log reading from this form to this form. So from here, I can also say that this is 2 log 5 to be 10. You see, from the rules, you can expand, you can manipulate, or you can simplify to get what you want. Operations under log reading require you to simplify, to change, to expand, or to solve, so as to get what they require of you. That is simply the logic. And the uh, first law of log reading says that when you have log 1 to any base, it is 0, which means log 10 base 1 is equal to 0. Log 1, rather, log 1 base 5 equals 0. Log 1 base 10 is 0. So, log 1 to base anything is equal to 0. Then the fifth law says, if you have log, log of a number to its base, which means the number and the base are the same, the answer is 1. What does that imply? If you have log 10 with base 10, this is 1. Log 5 base 5, 1. Log 3 base 3 is equal to 1. So in the question or in the equation, I have something like log 6 base 6. I can just simply change this to 1 and start solving. Life gets so easy. And the sixth law or the number 6 law says that if you have log of a base raised to the power of power and the base are the same, the answer is equal to k. Grammar, right? This is it. Remember, when log, in log 3, we said if we have log, let's say anything here, 10, 5, squared, that this is the same thing as 2 log 5 to base 10. Remember? Log 6 is now telling us that if here and here are the same, therefore, if we have log 10 and here is 10 raised to the power of 2, this is the same thing as 2. Okay? So everything, so long here and here are the same, the answer is equal to 2. You may be wondering how this is the proof. From log 3, if you have something like this, this is the same thing as 2. You bring down the power. 2 log 10 would be 10. Then look at here. From log from log 5, if you have log to a number with base, if the number and the base are the same, you get 1, which gives you 2 times 1, and this is equal to which they are the same. The seventh law is what we already explained under the law of indices, which is a raised to the power of log b over b is equal to a. So, 2 raised to the power of log b over k is equal to k, as seen in log reading. So, 2 raised to the power of log 2 over 5 is equal to 5. The first law of sorts is that if you have a, let's say a times b, is equal to root a times root b. So square root of a times b is equal to square root of root a, square root of a times square root of b. Which means if I have the square root of 100 times 2, this is the same thing as the square root of 100 times the square root of 2. The square root of 100 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So this is the same thing as 10 times root 2. This is equals 10 root 2. Which implies that if I give you square root of 200 and I say uh, put it in sort form or simplify. Since we don't want decimal values, we want very accurate answer. We ask ourselves 200 square root. Is this not the same thing as square root of 100 times 2? Yes, because 100 times 2 is 200. This is the same as this. Which means, this is also the same thing as square root of 100 times square root of 2. Which finally gives us 10 root 2. The law of third, second law, which is the law of division. The first one is law of multiplication. It says, 
if you have a over b this is the same thing as square root of a over b the same thing as square root of a over square root of b which means if you have full square root of 10 over 5 or if you have square root of 25 over the square root of 4 this is the same thing as the square root of 25 over the square root of 4 so you break the square root into two one at the top one at the bottom once you have the square root of fraction now if you wish to simplify this the square root of 25 is 5 the square root of 4 is 2 so the square root of 25 over 4 is equals the square root of 25 over the square root of 4 and that is 5 over 2 then the third law states that square root of a plus b is not the same thing as square root of a plus square root of b in the law of multiplication we said the square root of a times b is equals to the square root of a plus the square root of b but times the square root of b rather but if it is addition the square root of a plus b is not equal to the square root of a plus the square root of b so if i give you square root of 5 plus 6 this is not square root of 5 plus square root of 6 that is not the case you can actually say square root of 11 correct but don't break it down this way and the next one says it will be told that if you have this this my uh, this over this this is the same thing as square root of 25 over square root of 4 but when it comes to subtraction the square root of 5 minus 6 minus 4 for example it is not equals the square root of 5 minus the square root of 4 under addition and subtraction don't break the square root into two it is not correct and the next one says or the fifth law of sword says that when you have square root of similar number the answer is the number square root of similar numbers will give you the number square root of 5 times square root of 5 is equals 5 square root of 20 times the square root of 20 is equals 20 square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is equals 10 square root of 500 times the square root of 500 is equal to 500. Ladies and gentlemen, laws of logarithm and sorts. We check out the laws and we've answered the questions under these laws. Feel free to check out the Flash and Dance Jam application for more questions. In the next episode, next two episodes, and the next three episodes, we shall be answering questions under indices, under logarithm, and under sorts. We'll make sure we answer as many questions as possible and simplify it so that you be able to follow when it comes to all these questions in jam. See you in the next episode.